Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I usually like to plan and structure my videos because for me it's important to communicate and explain things properly. But I often find myself throwing my schedule away and filming something entirely different. And that's what has happened with today's video. I wanted to talk about nature and why it's so important when you are on a spiritual path. But then I had the urge to talk about something else. And it's something very personal. There are things that I can and can't say. So hopefully this video will make sense. If you are brave enough to watch this till the end, please give me some feedback, leave me a comment and let me know if this resonates with you and makes sense. I wish I could share more details and give you a context for what I'm going to say that would make my message more understandable, but I will do my best. So when I was 18, 19 years old, I had a powerful spiritual experience and this wasn't a one-time kind of thing, this went on for years. And I think it took me about a year and a half to understand what I was experiencing exactly because I didn't know. It was scary, I felt very much out of control, but it was also beautiful, intense and very, very loving. The energy, the love that I felt there is something that doesn't belong to this earth. I'm sorry, I can't say more, but I have to respect the privacy of the other person involved. And even for myself, I don't think I would feel comfortable going into detail. I feel very protective of this thing and words that don't do it justice anyway. And more importantly, my personal story aside, what really matters in the end is the message that I got from all of this. And this message is the reason why I have started doing YouTube in the first place. Since this experience, I have been having the need to give back to this world and share the light that I saw in one of the darkest times of my life. My path on this earth has been very difficult and it continues to be. Sometimes I get really down, I get frustrated at things not working out. But days ago, I was reminded of this experience that I've had. Not that I had forgotten, of course, but you know, life gets in the way. And I realized something which ended up being another confirmation of the authenticity of my experience and thought I had to share at least a small part of this with you. The dark night of the soul is an existential crisis. It's disruption, disconnection, despair, rock bottom. It's a sort of spiritual depression. There's no light. It's just you, your darkness and misery. This world can be a very dangerous, ugly, scary place. And I got to know this side of life. So for a while, I didn't know what to make of my faith and my personal experience of this planet. The two things just didn't match. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who felt that way. I'm sure there's someone watching right now who's going through mental illness, addiction or any other serious health condition, grief, abuse, trauma. And I'm sure you are wondering why this is happening to you. I remember feeling like every fiber of my being was so damaged and broken. And at one point I felt like the darkness I used to see all around me had become a part of me, it was inside me. What this spiritual experience taught me is that the light that's in our life is directly proportional to the dark, traumatic nature of what we're going through. We are never alone, never. It feels like that because our perception is clouded by the heaviness of our heart. And that's okay, sometimes darkness is part of our life plan. I have walked that path. I know how dark things can get. But if you keep going and don't give up, you'll see that you will doubt your strength and your heart remains pure. You can walk through hell and all around you may be burning down, but your soul will stay safe, strong, pure, and eventually will be filled with so much love. In all those situations that are so far from anything good, the light is there and the light is holding your hand all the way through it. 
What on this earth is torment, torture, tragedy, abuse, agony, misery? No matter how bad it gets, no matter how hopeless and helpless you feel, your light and worth as a soul goes far beyond all of that. And everything that happens is used on a soul level for your healing. Don't give up your power because as a soul, you are stronger than all of that. As humans, sometimes we feel defeated at certain mountains of fright, to quote Elena Marlin's song. But if we look at our life from the spiritual perspective, we see and I was shown how everything, and I mean everything, no matter how ugly and heart-wrenching it is, happens for a reason and it happens to help you heal and grow. As humans, we tend to react a lot to things, especially when morally or ethically we judge that something isn't acceptable. But as souls, I find that we no longer have that judgment. We are only interested in love and in expanding our ability to love and connect. And I'm so thankful I got to experience that. I got to know a very dark side to this life, but I was also shown that there's a love, an energy, an innocence that survives and is stronger than any human cruelty that may take place on this earth. And what's even more important, all those horrible things that happen on this planet, those things are actually doors to the purest form of love. It may sound like a contradiction, but trust me, it's not. You need to embrace your pain and suffering and work with it, because it's meant to lead you to a beautiful place. This is my experience, but I'm no different than you. And I hope you start to look at your pain as a door and no longer as an obstacle. I hope this helps you guys and I'll see you next week. Holy Spirit.